I think we need to start here because there are now officially 45,000 warm ballers subscribed to my channel. It's just, next stop, 450 million. So thank you so much for your continued support because I really love making videos for you guys and all kinds of different ones like news and vlogs and how I did it and interviews and I'm gonna do some FIFA 17 content too. I mean, what a time to be alive! But let's be where our feet are and yes, I know that's very zen and talk about today a few things in fact and two things to be exact, starting with Big Sam Allardyce. Just in case, on the outside chance that you haven't heard about the recently appointed England manager who just got fired slash pressured to resign from his dream job only 67 days after he got it, well, he got set up by some journalists who are posing as representatives from an agency in the Far East, which seems a bit shady in itself. But he did discuss ways that these reps could get around some of the rules that the FA set up. The problem is, the FA hired him to be the manager of the English national national team, which, when the video leaked, led to their embarrassment, which led to his dismissal, which leads me to my two things. One. Why didn't some smart and clever journalists do this exact same thing to former FIFA president Sepp Blatter? If they had, we could have got rid of his corrupt, saggy, and wrinkly ass years ago. Of course, when you're FIFA president, no one is above you, and you sure as shit aren't gonna fire yourself when you have so much power at your disposal. And if something happened that was similar to what happened to Big Sam, you could just pay that person off, or you could just let them print it. Because because look at all the dumb shit that Sepp Blatter has said over the years. We now have three ladies on the board. Say something, ladies. You're always speaking at home. Say something now. Say what? I think in football, there's too much modern slavery in transferring players or buying players here and there and putting them somewhere. You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious! My grandmother always said a clock rings ding and dong, not ding ding ding. You have to listen to ding and to dong. And for now, I only hear ding. I will go to Qatar and listen to the dong. So there you have it everybody, Sepp Ladder is gonna go listen to the dong. Two. The news of the Big Sam scandal, even though technically he didn't do anything illegal, led former English national team captains Rio Ferdinand and Alan Shearer to come out and say that this would make England the laughing stock of the football world. Guys, listen, having one of the best leagues in the world in your country, and then having a national team that can't get out of the group stages in the World Cup, a group won by Costa Rica no less, and then getting knocked out of the Euros by Iceland makes you the laughing stock of the football world. So you should focus your energy and attention on figuring out when having a great league translates into having having a great national team because it looks like the Bundesliga and La Liga already have that figured out. Next up, Tata Martino. The former Barcelona and Argentinian national team manager has just been hired as the first ever coach of Atlanta United, who are one of the newest franchises in Major League Soccer, which will kick off in its brand new stadium next season. So, two things about this. One. Holy shit, this is a big name with a big pedigree and I'm very excited to see how he does in MLS, especially since foreign coaches have a tendency to not do very well here. However, French and Arsenal legend Patrick Vieira has been proving me wrong with NYCFC this season as he helped the club make the playoffs in only his second year of existence. And even more impressive, he's been doing it with a very purposeful style and I have a lot of respect for that. Two. So I went to the club's website to read more about Tata and read his quotes and to see how excited he was, just to see what he was doing and of course, I went into the comments and then I read this gem. I'm sorry for you. He's a pig-headed person. Hope you shake him off sooner than later. Greetings from Argentina. Which is an amazing comment, which also makes me incredibly curious as to how he's gonna do as the main man in charge of a brand new team when it seems like he hasn't been well-liked anywhere he's been. And finally, Clint Dempsey. With the announcement that the 33-year-old Seattle Sounders striker and U.S. International will be sidelined for the rest of the season due to a regular heartbeat, due to a regular, due to an irregular heartbeat, due to a due to an irregular heartbeat, due to an, due to an, it got me thinking about two things. One. I had a similar issue in high school when I was playing during a game and everybody was like wigging out, but I'm still alive, so what's the big deal? Two. Kidding aside, though I did actually have a heart problem. If his career did have to end because of all of this, which would be incredibly sad, of course, but health and family first, he will easily go down as one of the best players that America has ever produced. And personally, he will go down as one of the toughest son of a bitches that I have ever played against. And I just have a ton of respect for how hard he's fought for everything that he's gotten. Also, if he needs help starting his own YouTube channel, like another handsome and very smart former player that you guys know, I'm here for you, Clint. The deuce can be loose on YouTube. Think about it. All right, that's it. That's all I got. I'll see you tomorrow. Later. I might have just peed my pants a little bit, just like a drip. Okay. I was a little nervous. Oh. Oh.